Mike, thanks. Very pleased to have Purdue coach Jeff Brom with us. And coach, tremendous first year for you here. You went from three wins to seven. You created a lot of buzz around this program. So what's the next step for Purdue football? I think the next step for us is just continue to work hard and get better. We, I feel good about the progress we made. Uh, our guys uh, battled all year long. I think that uh, you know we found a way to win our last three games, so that was good positive momentum. We've gained some confidence. You can see it out here that we got a little bit more swagger to us, and hopefully we take the field that way. It's going to be a, a tough year, a lot of tough games and uh, tough opponents, and we're going to have to come ready to play, and, uh, and that's starting with game one. How's the personality of this team different from last year? Well, without question, we're a little bit younger on the defense side of the ball, but I do like our players, and I think we do have some depth. On the offense side of the ball, we have more experience, and I think they feel good that we have a chance as long as we're doing uh, all the little things uh, the right way. But, you know, our guys want to win, and I think they work hard. They're able to be coached hard. Uh, they want to be motivated, and hopefully they have enough fight in them that we can get it done. Speaking of fight, quarterback situation, how's that developing, and how do you think that's going to play out? You know, that position, uh, we feel very confident. I think we got two quality starters that have played a lot of football, that made a lot of progress last year. Uh, we feel good that that position should play at a level good enough for us to win, uh, no matter who's in there. And uh, both guys are tremendous teammates. They're great leaders. They're willing to do whatever it takes. So uh, we feel very good about that position. Coach, give us a little indication of the progress at the line of scrimmage, both offensive line and defensive line. Well, I think our offensive line has a little more experience. Uh, they've played a lot of football. Uh, we've added a couple additions to it. Uh, so I feel like we got about eight guys that we can rotate in there and keep them fresh. And uh, while they're not perfect, they work hard. And I think they'll fight for us. On the defensive side, you know, Lorenzo Neal started a lot of games for us last year. I think he'll be a solid player. Uh, Anthony Watts didn't play as much, but he's our other tackle. And you know what? He's had a good camp. He's got some athleticism to him, some shiftiness. And, uh, and then at the end, our strong end will be Giovanni Rivera. He's going to be a redshirt freshman. But he looks the part. He's got strength. He just hasn't played much football. So hopefully he can uh, start off fast. And uh, Kai Higgins is another junior college transfer that uh, we had last year. Didn't play a lot. Uh, I think he can be a solid player for us. And I think we have some backups that can we can rotate in there. Is, is there going to be a dominant force? I'm not for sure about that. But I think those guys will play hard and, and, and be efficient. What about this beautiful building that's behind us? How has that changed things here? Well, this uh, performance complex we moved in last year is state of the arts, as good as it gets. Uh, our players love being in it. We've got everything we need and more, all the bells and whistles, tremendous weight room and locker room and training room and offices. And uh, really, it's a beautiful place. I think it's something that uh, hopefully we can sell uh, to recruits. And uh, you know what? If we can win a few games and get some more momentum, uh, hopefully good things will happen. Coach, external expectations, as you know, were not very high last year. That is not the case this year. There's a lot of buzz around this Purdue team. So what have you told your guys about dealing with the fact that people think very highly of this team, which I think for a lot of them is probably new? Well, we don't talk about it a whole lot. I think we understand that, uh, you know, we found a way to get it done last year to a certain degree, and uh, there is going to be people that want us to do it as, uh, again. And I think that uh, our players understand it's going to, Take playing the game hard. Uh, it's got to be competitive. They got to have a lot of fight in them. They got to want to win. It's got to be visible. I think it's important that when we take the field that each and every game, no matter who we play, uh, you can see that, hey, this team wants to win. They're playing hard. And while we may make some mistakes and win a few here, lose a few there, hopefully the fight is there. And I think that's what helped us get over the hump last year. We did have coaches that worked hard and had some fight to them. And we had players that definitely had some fight to them. Head coach of the Boilers, Jeff Brom. Thank you, coach. Thank you.